It was one of the only good things that came out of the coronavirus lockdowns. The outdoor patios, not only an instant hit with the people in San Diego, but they also saved a lot of restaurants that would have not survived otherwise. It was super easy. They streamlined it. It was amazing. The permits went right through um, because they knew it's an arduous process to get it done the real way. Now that those, I think it was in July of last year, those that, that, that was like a Toboke uh, permit there, exactly, exactly uh, expired. And so we're in the queue to do the real one. The real thing means going back to being really difficult. The temporary outdoor permits expired back in July, and now it is time to navigate the very complicated permit process in order to keep them. This time, however, the city claims that they will help by providing up to $20,000 in grant money for certain restaurants. You know, anything the city wants to do to help us is great. You know, when they came out with this in the first place, you know, at the, the onset of COVID, it was a really blessing for us to be able to have a patio and a streetery and all of that. So now that they're going to come at us and actually give us a grant or some money to help us through the process, that's amazing. Here at Guava Beach and Mission Beach, the owners had to pay a lot of money just to hire a specialist to navigate the city of San Diego's rules on outdoor patios. There's just a lot of different things. It's a, a, a stormwater runoff thing, the construction plans, uh, uh, right of way. There's a lot of things. I actually had to hire someone to, to navigate the process. So it was kind of complicated. So maybe a liaison officer would be fun to have from the uh, city of San Diego to help us, us little guys who don't know what we're doing. And for restaurants that are in the coastal zone, it is not just the city's red tape, but also the Coastal Commission. They are asking that all parking spaces used for the restaurants in the coastal zones somehow be replaced by the business owners. No one is really sure how that is going to work. Those of us that are you know, close to the beach and in the coastal uh, zone, uh, I believe they just ruled that we have to somehow make up the spaces we're taking up. And uh, so far I've seen no guidance on that, so I'm not sure what that entails or how we're gonna make those up. You know, at least they didn't say no altogether, which is good. But, you know, again, we're kind of in a holding pattern until the city and the Coast Commission get together and tell us what we need to do to be compliant to make it all work out. You know, the businesses with patios already pay rent on each one of those parking spaces to the city. Now the Coastal Commission wants them to be magically replaced. The days of streamlining are over, even though it works so well. I think what's important is the, the, the outside areas are, are really advantageous for someone like my business where I don't have any outside seating prior to this. You know, and, and the reality is that some people are always going to feel more comfortable eating outside than at inside. And now I've got that, so we're going to do everything we can so that we can keep that.